back in the day, my uh, friend and colleague, Alan Combs, who used to have a radio show, uh, The Alan Combs Show, um, he also used to be on, on Fox with uh, Sean Hannity, although Hannity got tired of being challenged and got rid of Combs. Um, but uh, Alan had uh, on his program a guy who was one of the leaders of the anti-abortion movement. Um, his name was Neil Horsley. And uh, Neil ran a website that showed the pictures and locations of all the abortion doctors in America. And every time one got assassinated, he would put an X through their, through their picture. And so Alan Combs got him on the air to talk about that. And the discussion went sideways in a New York minute. Here it is. When I was a, a fool, before I surrendered myself to the Lord Jesus Christ, I was an absolute hedonist. I, I, I smoked dope. I did everything that might feel good. No, no, so you've never, uh, no girlfriend of yours ever had an abortion? No. In fact, the, the, the women that I got pregnant did not kill my children so by did, God's grace. By the way, it also points out that in an Esquire magazine interview, you acknowledged taking part in homosexual sex and bestiality in the 70s. <laughs> they, that, that's my point, Alan. I mean, just Is that because, true? because it's printed on, in the uh, the news media or on the internet, everybody everybody is jumps to believe it. But in reality, if I say the truth, is that true? People say that's not. Hey, Alan, if if you want to accuse me of having sex when I was a fool, I did everything that that crossed my mind that looked yes, like it might you, feel good. You had sex, you had sex with animals as an active hedonist. Absolutely, I was a fool. You had sex with animals? Oh, I when when you grow up on a farm in Georgia, and the, your first girlfriend is a mule. Uh, I'm not so sure that that well, is that's so. Uh... You didn't grow up on a farm in Georgia. The fact of the matter is, if they have a, if they have a, uh, d don't know that in fact you experiment with with anything that moves when you're growing up sexually, it's uh, uh, you're you're naive. So you we'll, we'll, we'll stop right there. That's <laughs> it gets even weirder. He ends, but but I'm running out of time here. So cue uh, Nate uh, Herschel Walker yesterday. As they've been saying, something is better somewhere else, and I'm here to tell you it's not. So I've been telling this little story about this bull out in the field with six cows and three of them are pregnant. Uh-oh. So you know he got something going on. <laughs> but all he cared about is kept his nose against the fence looking at three other cows that had been blown to him. Now all he had to do is eat grass, but no, 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 he thought something was better somewhere else. Now in the background so of Tom decided, Cotton I want to get and Rick that. Scott looking very worried. So one day he measured that fence up. And he said, I think I can jump this. So that day came where he got back. And he got back, and as he took off running, he dove over that fence, and his belly got cut up onto the bottom. But as he made it over on the other side, he shook it off and got so excited about it. And he ran to the top of that hill, but when he got up there, he realized they were bulls too. <laughs> so what I'm telling you, don't think something is better somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, don't think something. <laughs> What's the moral to this story? A bull, and he's got three, he's got six cows, and three of them are pregnant, and, 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 and behind him are Rick Scott and, and, uh, and, and uh, Tom Cotton standing there with their faces getting more and more and more alarmed. And what is going on with the Republican Party? This, this, it's, it's, it's just getting weird out there. It's getting down right. I mean, it's been weird for a long time. That Alan Combs clip is a decade old, but um, anyhow, <laughs> what do you think is going on? We'll pick up your calls on the other side of the break. 